What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back again for the reaction and today is a great, wonderful, beautiful day because it's a Finland day. These 11 things will screw your life in Finland. What are those 11 things? <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Finland is definitely an awesome country, but every coin has its flip side, you know. And in this video, I will show you 11 things in Finland that will screw you up. Let's go check them out. Lock behind me. That would be a nightmare. How do you guys cope with that? Is that like all your doors in Finland? Like all your houses and apartments have self locked doors? On one hand, it's good because, yeah, it's safety. Like you leave the house, you don't need to, you need, don't need to remember to lock the door when you leave. But then on the other hand, <laughs> you leave the house without your keys and you're pretty, uh, pretty fucked. So. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. Ablo is a Finnish lock invention invented by Finnish Emil Wilhelm Henriksson in 1980. And all Finnish doors have this Abloy lock system. Let me show yeah, you how it works. When them. you look at the Finnish doors from the side, you can see that there is this little knob. When the knob is in upwards position, it means that when you close the door, it will lock and you need the key to open the door. If it's right. in a downward position, the door will be unlocked whether, even if you close the door. What this means is that if you forget to take the key with you and you put the knob in the upward position, you close the door, it means you will lock yourself out. And this happens, it has happened to me also, like when I was in Japan, they didn't have this kind of lock system. You always had to use the key to lock the door. But in Finland, it doesn't work that way. And wow. so you have to be careful when you come to Finland, you maybe run, rent Airbnb or you get your own place. And so it's important to know and remember how these Finnish locks work. And it can definitely screw you up. I can imagine that would, I would, oh, yeah. knowing me, I would leave my key inside the apartment or house every time, <laughs> every time I leave. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but I guess you get used to it, right? You'll get, you'll always remember to take your keys. Um, yeah, if you've got locks like that on all your doors, it's probably the first thing you think of, grab your keys. <sighs> Minkä sellainen päivä siellä on tänne? <tos> Ui, saakeli kevät on tullut. Mennä tsekkaan. <laughs> kind of get that in a similar way apart from all that snow we don't have all that snow but with england as well um the weather is super changeable and if we see a little bit of sun we think it's like spring or summer especially if from the north of England where I'm from and people go out with their shorts on, t-shirt on and sometimes you just commit. You're like, I saw a bit of sun, I'm going out with my shorts and t-shirt. You go outside and it's fucking freezing cold. And you're like, do you know what? I've committed, I'm going to continue. I'm not going to go inside and get my coat. I'm going to continue with my shorts and t-shirt on. <laughs> Weather and climate. And the climate, one of the things that Finnish people always complain. Like because Finland is located here in the north, the average temperatures are quite low. And for example, the winter is dark and very cold. And these harsh weather conditions can be definitely a problem for example, people who come from the southern parts of the world. But don't worry, I have made few videos about Finnish winter and how to survive and have fun in the Finnish winter. Links popping up in the cards. Maybe this work at 8 a.m. in the morning. I get it. <laughs> Returning at 4.30 in the afternoon. Mate, I get it. Like, I get it. 
Be, <laughs> I get it. Being from England is exactly the same in the sense of it might, it might not go as dark as early and it's may, maybe not dark like, yeah, dark as early or, yeah, that's the right, I just confused myself. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> we might, so the earliest it gets dark in the UK is around 3.30. That's the late, that's the earliest um, it gets dark. Whereas I think in Finland it can be it can be a lot earlier than that. But the times that he just put on there, it's exactly the same. When I used to work in a hospital, I used to go to work at like 8 a.m. It'd be pitch black, and I'd come home and be pitch black, and I might never see the sun. So I completely get it. I used to do 12 hour shifts. So uh, yeah, I get this completely. You don't see the sun. And kind of a follow-up for the previous part, the darkness. And you know, the darkness can be probably one of the most annoying things in mm. Finland. And especially for people who don't have to go through these dark seasons. And in the darkest times, they can be as less as only a few hours of sunlight. Yeah, That's nothing. Know. That's nothing. The dark That's wild. Darkness affects the mood of the people, like Finns are even gloomier than usual and you know, and we don't have much energy, we don't get as much as vitamin D that we normally get from the sun. So it definitely affects a lot of aspects in Finnish life. Hei, pistä syyt bissi, kiitos. Ja se teki sitten kuusi euroa. Kuusi euroa? Yhdestä bissestä? Ei juman suikka. Spencer. The living standards in Finland are quite high, which means the salary is also pretty good, but the flip side is that the prices will also are quite expensive. And stuff like rents, public transportation, dining out, drinking, socializing can be quite expensive depending on your lifestyle and also the area where you live in Finland. And for example Helsinki area, the capital area is really damn expensive. But like Tampere and Turku, I think they are a little bit more reasonable in this sense. Obviously, expensive is a subjective matter. It depends strongly where you come from. If you come from like Norway, it's probably even cheaper here and stuff. But if you come from like, like Czech Republic or Bulgaria, then Finland can be quite expensive for you. Oi, verotustietot, sekataas. <laughs> Damn. And good follow up on the previous one taxes. And one factor for the high prices is the taxation in Finland. The annual income is progressive, starting from 25%. You can see some numbers here. And then we have also like a value added tax VAT as high as 24%. But for example, food and catering services are only 40% VAT. Some stuff like books are only 10% VAT. Then we have this thing called X. I don't mind high, I've said this before, I don't mind high taxation as long as the money is going to good use. And I think in Finland it is. I think your government does really well with your taxes, so. Excise tax. And excise tax is, for example, for booze and tobacco and I think sweets and stuff. And this is, for example, one of the reasons why booze is damn expensive in Finland because the excise tax even adds up on the price. But that still doesn't stop Finnish for drinking. And when you earn money, there's like different kinds of taxes. There's like a pension tax, and you have to pay church tax, and you have to pay your city church tax, tax. And also the state takes some tax. Did you say church, church tax? And when you earn money, there's like different kinds of taxes. There's like a pension tax, and you have to pay church tax, and you have to pay your church. city tax. And also the state takes <laughs> some tax taxes, so there's quite a bunch of taxes. But you know, the flip side is again that with the tax money, we, for example, support free education and social services. It has a purpose, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It can still affect on like a regular person like me, because quite big slice from my income is down the crapper thanks to the taxes. Hmm, voisi kyllä lähteä vähän lomaalle, kun täällä Suomessa on niin kylmää ja tylsää. Mennä sitten vähän lentoja. A flight's expensive. Perhana, joka paikka on näin kalliita lippuja. Miksi Suomen pitää olla täällä näin hanuudessa? <laughs> That's why you should, when you book a flight, I've heard this, you should always use like a VPN and clear your cookies on your browsers and like try and 
put yourself in another location so that flights come up a little cheaper. That's what I heard, it's a little bit of a hack if you want to uh, book a flight. You know, we already talked about a little bit about this in the win in the climate section, but Finland, you know, Finland is located really far in the north of Europe, which makes this kind of hard to reach if you come from like states or like central part of Europe. It's like quite a way to reach all the way here. And also, you know, the climate is pretty much thanks to the location. And also, if you want to leave, go on a vacation from Finland, it's also expensive on the other way because you have to reach out to places from really far from the north. But again, if you think about it in a positive light, you know, thanks to the location, we have four distinctive seasons, which kind of give like cool variation all out or throughout the year. What is that? See the Kelly then I'm to like so. Se on siistiä, kun kesä on tulossa, niin kaikki on jotenkin paremmalla tuulella ja meininki on parempaa, eikö niin? And this is probably not a surprise for you guys and girls as well, but you know, Finns don't really engage in the social activities unless they have to. So, mm. if you think about, okay, I'm gonna be social, so let's talk, talk a little bit from the person next to you, wrong, because that just makes you look like a weirdo. And same thing goes for smiling, don't ever smile without a reason, Finns will think that you are weird. Don't smile. Can you imagine if I was like this, like the entire... <laughs> you have to smile, I mean, it's different on YouTube, but I get it. Um, I think, yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm, I wouldn't just like normally just smile at a random person, but if someone looks at me and they smile at me, I'm, I will smile back happily. I'm like, oh, that's a nice person. I'll smile back. But maybe in Finland you just don't smile. It's just very, you're deadpan. Weird, and maybe. they might even think that you are smiling because of them. Be careful. Be careful. And yeah, because like even my mom asks like if I'm searching fun stuff on the phone or read something funny and start to smile like she's always like what are you smiling at i don't know it's kind of funny well, like why do <laughs> we have to be so socially awkward i have no clue why please let me know but yeah okay i know this is a little bit exaggerated but this is some true stuff but it still doesn't mean that meeting Finns is impossible you just have to kind of know the strategy you have to know the layout understand how finnish people work in social situations when you know the right strategy you can kind of break the ice in a good way and start interacting with Finns. so it's definitely possible but be careful, there are some certain kind of social norms in Finland that affect our behavior in social situations. <laughs> Alright, like I talked about in the tax section, even if booze is damn expensive in Finland, it still doesn't prevent Finns to get wasted and drunk. And some Finns even go all the way to Estonia and import a damn, damn cheap booze to Finland because it seems it's worth the effort. It's much cheaper there. Ever right. since I was in my teenage years when I saw like classmates starting to get into drinking, I don't know why, but alcohol is like a holy thing in you know, Finnish and uh, kind of Finnish party culture. If there's no alcohol, there's no party. And when Finns decide to get drinking and it's the same in the UK. Like I think we have that in common for sure. Uh, when it comes to alcohol, we <laughs> we're pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, the UK is pretty bad. I wonder which is like the the worst European country for like alcoholics and like bad behavior when it comes to alcohol and just going a bit crazy, excessive. I think we're up there, um, and I think Finland's up there as well. It'd be interest interested to know. We have the Scots, and the Scots are. I mean, they can drink. Sure. If there's no alcohol, there's no party. And when Finns decide to get drinking and decide to go partying, they pretty much always go it all the way. Like they get really wasted and, you know, they're getting kicked out of clubs and, you know, even sometimes cops take them to jail. Okay, I don't know this is a little bit exaggerated, but it, it does happen. Like every time when you go to nightclubs and, you know, in the parties, you always see that there's a like, few people who get like... <laughs> This is one of the aspects that I personally hate. Why do you have to be wasted to have fun? Like this is something I've sure. never understood in Finnish culture. Many times when I've been in a party, I've been asked quite a few times like, why do you look so sober? Why are you not drinking? But again, let's look on the um, bright side. Me too. Like when Finns are getting 
me to I get asked that question I say, like, oh, why do you look so sober like I've never seen you drunk Dwayne I've never seen you drunk <laughs> it's like I do I, I, I do drink uh, when I go out but I just don't drink in excess to the point of like feeling like sick and like super super duper drunk where I just cannot stand that doesn't happen very often with me and uh, people are like why not drink I just, I just can't drink that much like in the party I, mode, I drink a lot, they are, don't get their socializing goes times 1000. So if you want to go to talk to Finns and you are in a, like a social, in a really open social situation, like a party, this is your chance. This is your chance because when Finns drink the magic potion, the magic social potion called booze, called alcohol, that's your chance to capitalize and talk to Finns. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hey, let's right. So with a Finnish person, if I want to make a Finnish friend, and hang out with someone who's Finnish, go into the bar or to the pub or whatever you guys call it, get some alcohol, that's the best way to loosen up a Finn. Got it. Hey, let's learn some know. Finnish, shall we? <laughs> all right the Finnish language you know pretty much all the languages in Europe are Indo-European languages but Finnish language is actually well, I need to check it's in Uralic language family so that's why for example when you see these memes where the Finnish words are much more different than rest of the Europe. This is their explanation. It's a completely la different language family. If we compare to our Western Nor Scandinavian neighbors, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, their languages are pretty much similar. But when we just head to Finland, everything is completely different. And this is yeah. the explanation, the Uralic language. And the only kind of neighboring country who has a really similar language actually is Estonia. Estonia. And Estonian actually sounds, it sounds like a really hilarious Finnish. Like every time when I hear Estonian, it, it kind of makes me smile because it's something, it sounds something that's really close to Finnish, but it's just spoken in such a funny way. No offense, like Estonians are pretty cool people, but it's just like the way how I perceive the language. I bet my ass again that Estonians think exactly the same about our, our Finnish language. It sounds kind of similar to them, but we just speak it in a weird way, in their opinion. If there are any Estonians watching this video, I would love to hear like what they think about Finnish language. Yeah, do this please. Finnish is also considered one of the most difficult languages there, but it's not. it doesn't mean it's impossible. Actually, I've made you a few videos popping under the cards where you can actually start learning Finnish, and if you need some tips, there's some pretty useful videos for you. Go check them out after this one. But uh, Andex, mistä päin mä löytäisin mämmiä? Se on tosta kun menet suoraan oikealle ja vasemmalle. Okei, okay, kiitos. Kiitos. <laughs> Alright, the customer service. Like, I was talking with some of my friends some time ago, uh, they were internationals, and they told that it was kind of weird. Like, for example, you pay two euro for a coffee in a coffee shop, and then you have to pour the coffee yourself. And they thought that it's kind of considered as a... Wait, what? You go to a coffee shop and you have to pay, pour the coffee? Really? Interesting. Surely you guys have like a Starbucks in Finland. That's a bad customer service. Well, I don't drink coffee myself. I don't have any... I can't really put my experiences on thoughts on this. But nevertheless, it made me thinking. Is that bad customer service? But some stuff where I have experiences is, for example, if I go to a supermarket or a department store and I need to look for something specific because I don't want to waste my time in there. I usually go for the closest clerk, sales clerk, sales person I see, and I ask like, hey, I'm looking for this item. Where can I find it? And unfortunately, quite a few times, the sales clerks just like tell you, oh, it's just like you go right and then left and it's right there. And I think that's bad customer service. Like if I was there, I would take them personally to the right place and I would help them to look the correct item. That's definitely what I would do in that situation. But in unfortunately, in many situations, they just tell like, yeah, it's like over there. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs to be 
improve. And if there's people who have experiences on Finnish customer service, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear some stuff on this. Hmm. Hmm. Customer service. I'm trying to think, <laughs> comparing it to the UK, and if the UK customer service is bad, it can be just like how he's, how he's described Finnish customer service. Or it can be like the total opposite and be really like attentive and very like polite and helpful. So I think it's a bit of both. But I absolutely have I, the Finnish way of being when it comes to customer service. I have run into that in the UK. But I've also been to places like Thailand where the customer service is 10 out of 10. Uh, sometimes a bit too much, like <laughs> too helpful. So, um, yeah, it depends what you want. Oi, oi, oh, oh um, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, you okay? it's you okay. Hurt? You didn't drop anything? It's okay, it's okay. You're okay? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 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 Don't worry, don't okay. worry. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is quite interesting because people say that Finns are friendly and I definitely agree with that but, but that still doesn't equal to the fact that they would have good manners and I definitely agree that there are quite a few Finns out there okay. who don't have like who have some problems with basic manners even just saying like thank you in some situations and in Finnish we have this word junti which kind of translates, which is kind of like counterpart of redneck uh, in English. Like someone okay. who has like bad manners, doesn't really care about others, and just kind of is a little bit selfish. And well, actually, in English, um, that's American English. He's talking about rednecks are uh, Americans. Americans use that term. In England, we use the term chav, which is not a very nice term. It, it's council house houses and violence. So a person who is a chav, uh, that <laughs> they're basically saying they normally live in social housing, they claim from the government, and they're violent. That's what chav means. So we call those people chavs. Not nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a similar thing to what he's talking about. And again, of course, not all Finns are bad manners, but... You unfortunately you see them quite often and again I would love to hear some comments on this if there's people who have experience in this one and some years ago we actually did this quick funny social experiment where we opened doors to Finnish people to see like how many people would say thank you we had 36 people and only 18 of them said thank you and that was kind of funny well I know it's just a small sample it was university right. but I think Finns could definitely improve their manners in in general all right we had some quite a few interesting stuff do you agree with the stuff that i told you in this video let me know in the comments below and remember to join our fantastic squad by hitting the subscribe that's interesting etiquette isn't it like uh holding outdoors for people and them saying thank you or like pulling out like you know doing gestures and someone's response to be innately thank you for that um yeah some countries that's not a thing it's just it's just not a thing. If you go to like somewhere like India, and I only know this because I've been, um, thank that's not a thing. Like holding doors and it's just not. It's not culturally a thing. It's the queuing, lining up for things. It's not a thing. People push in, and it's just normal. It's not like they're being impolite. It's just cult culturally, there's not that culture of saying thank you every time someone does something as a gesture so it must be the same in like maybe Finland it's not a bad thing but it's good to know before I go because if I go and these things happen then I won't think badly on Finland like oh Finnish people are not friendly or whatever like I understand well that's the, that's part of the culture or people are like that because Alex told me so guys thank you very much for watching until the next one I will see you very soon <laughs>